Hi, I'm Ty Knight for TK24 Sports. Now on today's game day preview show, we take a look at Newcastle United's visit to Manchester United, playing at Old Trafford. Yes, March the 11th at 3 p.m. So I guess what you're thinking is you tune into the show. If it's your first time, you're thinking, what do I get from a TK24 Sports game day preview show that I don't get elsewhere? Well, we give you the head to head. We give you the previous results as well as the form guide, plus more information that keeps on popping up every portion of this show. That's why it's vitally important you don't skip or you do not cut off before the show has finished because more information keeps on coming up. So the more you watch, the more you get, the more you get out of it. So are you ready? Let's kick off the show with Head to Head. So as you can see, out of the 50 plus games that this has been played already between these two giants of a team, United have the biggest share of the wins. Now, am I going to be so bold to turn around and say that United is going to win this one just because Ronaldo could be back in the starting eleven? No. Now, Ashley believes Steve Bruce may have something over Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. The momentum here is for United to win. Of course it is. Out of all those games that have been played, 50 plus, United have won 30 plus of these games. But it doesn't mean that Newcastle is not going to rock up, come from Newcastle, leave their beloved St. James's Park. I'll call it St. James's Park rather than the Sports Direct State, whatever, whatever. They're going to turn up in Manchester, make some noise. You know the Geordie fans are going to bring it. You know they're going to bring the noise. United fans are going to bring the noise. They're going to be shouting. They're going to be chanting. Some of them are going to be going and getting their Ronaldo jerseys and be doing that at the back of it. And then maybe do the boom, should the man start and score. But again, Newcastle, watch out for Joe Willock. If Steve Bruce is brave enough to play Joe Willock, this is the guy that does turn up against the big teams and scores goals and they go on to win. Even though he hasn't yet scored this season so far in the Premier League, it doesn't mean this is not going to be the game he doesn't score. This is a game I think you need to count on him that they will score and who knows that they may end up winning. But it doesn't mean that I've said, United fans, that Newcastle are actually going to win this game. So let's go on to the next portion of the show. Let's look at previous results. Now, of course, when we look at the previous results, we can clearly see United have just won, one and one, and they win big, but Newcastle do score in these games as well. So, form guide, which we're, looking, which we're going to look at at the next portion of the show, is this. I do believe Newcastle can do something here and really put the dampness on a Ronaldo return. Now, this show is not about Ronaldo, but what I'm saying is United fans and United stars are thinking, well, listen, if Ronaldo is fit, he has to start. But a big question is, where would he start? So these previous results just keep on going so that United can go and add on to another plus 30 odd wins in their catalogue against Newcastle. Would Ronaldo actually start up front or would he start on the left or would he start on the right? Would he dislodge Sancho there because Sancho can play on the left but then Ronaldo loves to play on the left but now because of his age and his legs you can more or less see him playing directly up front. But previous results do show this. Newcastle can score a goal. So United need to be wary of this. I think Maguire and Varane need to be wary of the way Joe Willock would pop in and out and do something here. Callum Wilson, should he play, I think he's going to pose a big, massive threat to Manchester United. But it all depends on how these players are feeling after the international break. Have they come back with any knocks, any bruises? Is there anyone that's going to be sitting out significantly? Is Marcus Rashford going to come back into the fold? Is Bruno Fernandes going to turn Is Paul Popper going to turn up? But I keep saying Joe Willock, and the reason why I keep saying Joe Willock, this guy is a bogey for any big team. This guy is a big game player. Make no mistakes about it. I keep saying his name. If he scores, and you've watched this tape, make sure you go... Damn, Ty Knight was right. Joe Willock is a big game player. Why the hell did he leave Arsenal? Well, I can see why he's left Arsenal, to get more game time so he can shine on stages like this and go ahead for the World Cup next year. But anyway, that's the previous results. You've seen enough stats here that's come up on the screen already to show it could just be a United battering all day long against Newcastle. So let's move on to the next portion of the show, which is, of course, the form guide. So as you can see, United started off well in the Premier League, Newcastle not so bad. But again, if Ronaldo plays, this 
could be worrying for you Newcastle fans. And, I, and again, I'm going to say the name, Joe Willick. I'm saying his name so much, it's gone into the existence right now. That he, If Newcastle go 1-0 up, who knows what happens in Old Trafford? Are they going to get start getting scared? That's the fans. Is Oli going to start being worried? Will people just go on Twitter straight away and start saying, see, Oli out, Oli out, he can't manage Ronaldo, look at this. And all of a sudden, but when they start typing in the 160 characters, boom, Ronaldo scores. And then he goes on to get a hat trick. So I'm still thinking Newcastle will score. They will score first. But United will go on and win the game at least 3-4-1. That's what my thoughts are. A United win, 3-4-1. Ronaldo with a brace, maybe with Fernandez as well. And maybe Sancho will get his first goal for United. But United's attack now looks deadly. They've now got a decent back line. De David De Gea has now come into his own and he's resurrected his form. And he looks solid again. He looks more purposeful. And that's because he's been pushed because he's got a good number two behind him. Luke Shaw, best left back in the Premier League. So United fans are saying, I'm not saying that. I think Kieran Tierney is actually the best left back in the league. But then again, Liverpool fans are going to start thinking, no, it's not. It's Andy Robertson. But anyway, we're not here to discuss that. We're here to discuss United versus Newcastle. I almost said Arsenal there. I don't know why. But anyway, who's going to win this one? Now, best way to do it. In the comments below, put the Magpies, of course, for Newcastle. Put the Devils in there for United. You can put the scores in if you wish to do so. But most importantly, if you're new to the show, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn that notification on so you don't miss shows like this, game day previews, every time we upload on a Friday. So you'll never miss a show like this, plus other shows you've been seeing what we can offer you going forward. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon next Friday for another game day preview brought to you by TK24 Sports.